or to quickly cut the back okay to quickly cut the back um draft out um fold your fabric into two like so take your borderline half inch borderline then create another borderline here because i'm going to add zip and take my sway back effects here so for this i measure three inches so from here to here is three inches okay so i haven't done it this way let's quickly get started so just like we did for the front i'll simply take my vertical measurement do not forget this at the front i took um shoulder to bust for the front bust i took um i simply took 11 inches for shoulder to bust point for the front bust for this bust where you measure from shoulder to bust here you can see this is 10 inches shoulder to bust for this um person or mannequin is 10 inches now point at that 10 inches and trace it to the back let me trace it now i'm tracing it to the back i'm tracing it to the back so it's around here i've used my nail to give it a mark so now let me see what is the measurement for, for shoulder to bust at the back can you see this is exactly nine inches can you see i hope we can see this yes this is exactly can you see the, the mark on my nail is here because i marked it i traced it from the front that's where the sh uh, nipple point is shoulder to bust point i traced it from the front and traced it to the back and when i measured from the shoulder to the back was i got nine inches it's not going to be the same with this back bust because ideally i'm showing us the standard measurement of taking your back block okay compared to the general method of taking back block that we just make everything the same okay especially the reason i'm taking this i'm taking this approach here is because this is without half cuts at the back okay you don't cut it the same way with the way we cut um, gown half, having a half cut at the back because having the half cut at the back we we deducted um some inches from the half length so as to meet up to match up by the sides with the front block because according to uh, my previous tutorial the front block is longer than the back block and i showed us reasons for it and i also showed us why what we should do to the back block at the half length region but in this situation there's no half length here okay so what am i trying to say i'm, I'm going to take my shoulder to bust point and deduct one inch from it i'm taking one inch away from the bust point now looking at the front block i took 11 inches for shoulder to bust okay so for this one i'm taking 10 inches for shoulder to bust that's minus one okay i'm taking 10 inches minus one so we all know the uh, at the back block there's no need for under bust like we did for the front bust because nothing like um, tightening or whatever whatever there is no need for under bust so i haven't taken my bust measurement so the next thing i'll measure now is my waist so i'll go straight to the waist measurement so this is the let me measure it here so when i want to draw my line i'll know that's 10 inches there because the back the back bust is always higher than the front bust okay the front contains busts it packs it up uh -huh. so the, the back bust is shorter that's um it goes higher upper compared to the front bust which i took 11. so now i am taking the front bust next one is my waistline that's my half length and in this case i'm not having a cut there won't be a cut at the back here okay so i'm going to still apply the method of the back block is shorter than the front bust okay the front block so instead of taking 17 inches for the front you know i took 17 inches for the front the back will be 15 inches can you see the back will be 15 inches okay 15 inches and if you look at it very well we'll be wondering why is it 15 inches 15 inches because the distance between your shoulder to your front half length is longer compared to the distance between your shoulder to the back half length because there is nothing like bust at the back and that was why i had to take two inches bust that okay 
two inches bust that here such that you know this is my front block such that by the time i take in this dart it will level up with the half length at the back okay when i take in these two inches now these two inches if i fold it in as that and so my that the half length will now be by the side will now be like almost 15 inches to be 15 inches so that it will level up with this 15 inches i am taking here let me draw the busts for the back this is the back bust so for the half length i said i'm taking 15 15 inches i also come here mark 15 inches because i want the line to be straight and accurate so what do i do next i'll just draw my line so this will serve as my half length for the back that's by 15 inches that's by the fact that i took um I took um, 17 inches for the front okay I'm going somewhere um, if you notice take two inches out of it like this another way you can measure this is just to place it like so okay place it like so you will notice that I will get my 17 inches for the half length then this becomes ignore this one I'll get my 17 inches for the half length because I've taken out two inches here I will serve as the bust that okay so that being done next thing i'll do is take my hip measurements okay so my shoulder to my hip i am going to shoulder to hip is um shoulder to hip here for the front i took 26 inches 26 inches for shoulder to hip but i'm not going to take 26 inches here because um i don't want a situation whereby after cutting and you join the side you notice that the back will now be longer than the front okay the back will now be longer than the front so therefore my 26 inches which i took for the front i'll make it 24 inches here because i am deducting the same two inches i took for both that i'm going to deduct it from this measurement please pay attention here because these details is very very important otherwise if you don't follow this me method you just notice that after cutting your gown you notice that the back block for the gown will now be longer than the front block after joining and you'll be wondering what is all this and especially when you now make the biggest mistake by joining from the down part of the gown you now join from the down part and notice that when you get towards the arm hole the arm hole are not equal that will cause a problem that will cause problem for you so just follow this my method so what do i do just place your tape like this the dot the two inches can you see this is the two inches here. This is the two inches here. I hope we can see this. Deduct it and take your 26 inches measurement. See what I said though? You know I said the back block, the back hip will be 24 instead of 26 inches. Okay? Just take two inches. Place your two inches. These two inches. Just place it on the borderline like this. Meaning that you have taken this is minus two. This is the minus bust that okay so just place your 26 like this and take your measurements after taking it you notice that you have 24 so i'll come here place it like so take it at 26 okay so i'll draw my line so this will serve as my hip this will serve as my hip measurement So after taking this, next thing is to take the gown length, okay? So according to my measurements, the the knee the knee is forty one inches. The gown length is forty three inches. So let me just take um forty. You just take your two inches like this again and measure your forty one inches here. Yeah? length so next thing i'll just connect my gown length first so this serves as my gown length okay you can ignore this knee here you can ignore it you can draw it so that being said so next thing i'm going to do if you notice it i know you'll be wondering will it be equal yes it will 
that's why the fact that i deducted um two inches from the half length region okay one thing i want you to know if you notice let me do something here now let's check if this thing will be correct this is the boss point by the time i take in these two inches here by the time i fold in these two inches I'm just assuming I have folded this, okay? That's I'm talking about the boss darts for the front. By the time I fold my boss darts for the front, we'll notice that from the boss line, which is here, we'll notice that it will correspond. Can you see? It will correspond with, can you see? It will correspond with the hip. It will correspond with the half length. It will correspond with the boss line. But because I folded this, so you might not see it properly, okay? Then, can you see the length? Is now the same it corresponded with the length okay can you see can you see to be the same but if you notice the measurement i did here i deducted two inches from my shoulder to my waist that's waist for the back i deducted two inches and and this is placed on 17 but if we look at it the the real measurement is not 17 it is 15 that is if i place it from the starting point here if i place my tape from the starting point this becomes 15 can you see and this one becomes 24 same thing i talked about and this one becomes 41 instead of 43 that is to tell you that two inches is out of it what i am trying to say here is that the two inches deduction has nothing to do with the lower part of this um, gown it has everything to do with the midpoint that's the half length of the gown okay so that being said let me quickly take my measurements then we are out of here so now same thing take my <clears throat> three inches for my three inches then come down by 1.5 inches So having done that, next thing is to take my horizontal measurement. But before I do that, I want to quickly do something. Come to the back part of it, my waistline, okay? I am going to come in. But before I do that, let me take my nipple to nipple measurement so that it will be straight on. So same thing I took for the front. I'm also taking it for the back. Now, I'm not going to stop here because the dart for the back is always higher than the dart for the front, okay? So here, I'm going to extend this line by two inches. I'll just extend it by two inches. So that being said, next thing is... So next thing is i'll come to my waistline here um i want to apply the sway back effect here so all i need you is do not forget i said the back measurement if you notice i've already reduced the back okay because if you look at it the front boss is um i've already written on this so it's not showing well the the front bust is um okay this is the under bust okay this is it the front bust the front front bust was 10 one quarter inch while the back bust was is going to be eight three quarter inch okay so but before i do that let me come back here don't forget our um across back measurements our cross back measurement here is um seven inches and you know i already told us how to take the across back measurements 
get the midpoint and come down by half inch and from that point just take your across back of seven inches the difference won't be much then simply connect it like so that means the back won't be as deepened as the front block 